You think you know me. What's going on everybody? King of Dragons 5000 here coming at you with another figure review. Today we'll be having a look at the Mattel WWE Elite Collection Hall of Fame series, Edge, the Rated R Superstar. I, I can't do it like Tony Chimmel. But anyway, here we do have Edge in the packaging, and I'm really excited I found this guy. We, you can see he does come with his trench coat on the side. We do have an image of Edge right here, and that same image of Edge right here on the side. On the back, I'm going to guess that all three images of Edge are the same. And then at the bottom, we get a really, really long bio for Edge. I don't know why they give us this really long bio, but the gist of it is how he was, how he debuted in 1993, and then how he had multiple championships under his belt, and then it goes on to explain how he had a rivalry Rivalry with The Undertaker that took place at WrestleMania 24, in which he defended the World Heavyweight title and ultimately lost. But anyway, that's Edge for you. Other figures of this line are Sting, which we've already had a look at, Jerry the King Lawler, and Booker T. Well, King Booker, I should say. Really looking forward to getting these other two figures. Really happy I have Edge. So what I'm going to do now is take a little break, get him open up, and then we'll go on to the rest of Edge's review. So sit tight, everyone. And here we have Edge posing out of the packaging. Now let's get a good 360 of this guy. I'm going to say really liking this figure, although I feel like the trench coat could have been a little better. Now, I don't remember his match against The Undertaker, so I don't know if his coat was darker than this. Or maybe if it had, like, black patches on it, because it looks like... Well, there's a lot of detail on the coat. I just kind of feel like it's a little bleh. Now, his coat is made of a softer material. It's not as soft as Sting's. You can see, unlike Sting's, it doesn't retreat back as fast as Sting's did. So I'm wondering, why did they use the same material for Sting's jacket that they used for Edge's? I don't know, it would have made sense, right? But let's actually take the jacket off. It is a little bit of a hassle trying to get it off Edge. Because, like I said, it isn't as soft as Sting's jacket. And uh, get, it, it doesn't help that he's also wearing elbow pads. So, he's not only wearing elbow pads. I probably should have taken the elbow pads off before getting the jacket on him. Because now it doesn't seem like I'll be able to do it. And the elbow pad came off. Okay. We got one arm off. Let's try to get the other arm. There we go. It's, it's coming. And it took the elbow pad with it. So, word to the wise. Uh, if you're going to pose Edge with the jacket, take the elbow pads off. Uh, that made it so much harder than it actually was. And what size is that? The, yeah, that's the left arm. So let's just go ahead and put Edge's elbow pads back on really fast. Okay, that's the right one. So we get his elbow pads back on. And let's go on to Edge's coat. Like I said, there's a lot of nice details on it. I'm really glad that I have Edge, but a lack of color makes this seem like a really flat jacket from a distance. Up close you can see all the nice little details, but... From a distance, it looks kind of boring, honestly. But yeah, he does come with this trench coat. And that's all Edge comes with. Being from the WrestleMania match with The Undertaker, I kind of wish that he came with a world title. Like, I know he didn't win the belt, but still have him come with it would have been pretty cool. Because I don't think... Uh, Correct me if I'm wrong, but was Ted DiBiase the last Legends figure, or Hall of Fame figure to come with a belt? Uh, let's see, um, Trish, the Warrior, who else was in there? Um, Hogan kind of came with a belt, but anyway, I'm, I'm getting off subject. But here we do have Edge, and he's actually a taller figure, which is how it should be. Edge was not a short guy. I do feel like his legs are a tad too long in comparison to his body, but Mattel really doesn't have too many torsos that they can use, so 
I guess it's okay. And I think Edge is using the longer arms, which I really hope so, otherwise he has short, stumpy arms. But let's actually go on to Edge's detail really fast. Uh, let's move the camera up. And one problem I have, and it's not just with this Edge figure, it's with a lot of Edge creative things in general. They can't seem to get his face right, I mean... From some angles, it kind of looks like Chad Kroger. From others, it kind of looks like um, Kurt Cobain. But Edge, I do not see in this. Unfortunately, that is just the way it is. Uh, I guess like that, he kind of looks like CM Punk. So, I don't know what it is with Edge. They just can't get his face right. We do get his son tattoo there. And then we also do get another tattoo here, but that's being covered up by the elbow pad. And now that I want to get the elbow pad off, I can't. What are the odds of that? Oh, okay, I'm not, I'm not going to bother, but he does come with, a, with his tattoo right there. As you can see, he's wearing his black wristbands. Oh, this elbow pad comes off pretty easy. He has the stars, the skulls, and then this tattoo. So really nice. Correct me if I'm wrong, doesn't he have a Guns N' Roses tattoo? Like, isn't one of his tattoos from Guns N' Roses? I might be wrong. You can see the R for Rated R Superstar. It does say Rated R Superstar on his on the side of his trunks. And then we also do get the R with the star in it, so that's really cool. And then we get the red stripe on the back. So that's Edge's detail for you, so let's actually move on to his articulation, moving the camera back down, down, down we go, just a little bit more, too much, ah, that's good enough. We have a ball jointed head so he can look up, down, left and right, and he does bobble at the head, so good range of movement at the head. Arms on a ball joint go out, do a full 360, they swivel at the bicep, single jointed at the elbow, spin and bends at the wrist. No problem, and it's the same for both arms. We do get an ab crunch, which works pretty pretty decently for the elite figures. Waist swivel. Legs go forward, back, and out. He swivels at the thigh. Double jointed at the knee. Swivels at the... Underneath the boot cut. So this is where his boot is. This is where his swivel is so be aware that it's not up here it's a little bit lower then we do get stiff ankles which I really do like I'd rather have stiff ankles than loose one and ankle pivot so that's edge for you so what I'm going to do now is take a little break get a pose for my final thoughts that will wrap up this review so sit tight everyone and here we have edge pose for my final thoughts overall I really do like this figure I I'm kind of conflicted about this trench coat I mean I do like it but the material they, they use for it is, isn't as flexible as the one they use for Sting. And you really can't get them posed with a jacket. I mean, it's a cool jacket, but maybe a soft goods jacket would have been better. I would have preferred that. And maybe a world title to have them posed with. But other than that, still a really solid figure. This is actually the first Elite Edge I have in my collection. Um, stupidly, I passed on the ringside Edge. I was going to pick him up, but then... When I decide to pull the trigger, he's all sold out. Yeah, I'm, I'm not too smart sometimes. But anyway, I really do recommend this figure. If you're looking for the Hall of Fame series, WWE Elite Collection, they are exclusive to Target, so be checking your targets. I actually found this, tar this edge at the Target right near where I work. I got off work and just went in to see what they had, and edge was right there, front and center. I'm pretty sure they just stocked a fresh case because... You know, there was only one Edge, and there was some Sting, some King Bookers, some Jerry the Kings, but only one Edge, so I had to pick him up. But I'm really excited I have him, and really glad I'm able to review him for you guys. So let me know what you think of Edge down in the comments. Do you think he's worth it? Do you think he's not? You know, just let me know down in the comments. And as, as always, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Check out all my other WWE action figure reviews. All my toy reviews are also up, so go ahead and check that out. Also, if there's a figure you would like to see me review, let me know down in the comments, and if there's room for it in my collection, 
I'll definitely have a look at it. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Take care, everyone. My dreams are not Come against me It won't